Louisiana Beer Reviews, we are looking at Boulevard Whiskey Barrel Stout, Barrel Aged Imperial Stout. Okay. Um, Eleven point eight percent alcohol, thirty-two IBUs. It's got a good date, guys. This was given to me by John Anile. Thank you, John Anile. I went to Georgia and he gave me too much stuff, actually, but um, I appreciate it so much. This stout gets high ratings. 99 out of 100 on rapier, 92 out of 100 in the style. Uh, I'm sorry, 94 out of 100. 92 out of 100 on Beer Advocate. Outstanding, they're saying, and uh, 81 out of 100 on Untap, which is high for them. They use several barley, rye, oats, and wheat malts. That's all they say, several barley, rye, oat, and wheat malts. They don't talk about the hops. They don't even say who's whiskey barrels. I was saying maybe it's McCormick up there north of them in uh, western Missouri. One third of this product is fresh beer and the rest, the other two thirds, is aged in first and second use whiskey casks. That's what I know. So here we go. Boulevard. I've had some of their beers, single wide, double wide IPA, the wheat beer, the one that, you know, their flagship. I would try more, but they're not sold in Louisiana to my knowledge, so it's hard to try something I can't get. But at this case, in this case, I did get it. All right, so get a thin 11.3%. You usually don't get above 11, you won't get too thick of a head, but a thin beige head, a dark brown. With the lights shining through it, it's, you can pick up a little brown highlights at the bottom of the glass appearance. Bubbles, um, well, yeah, I see them on the sides of the glass. Okay. It smells roasty, dark roasted, chocolatey, coffee-ish. Uh, definitely get whiskey barrel. Doesn't say bourbon barrel, says whiskey barrel. So it could, like I say, it could just be McCormick, the sort of famous McCormick blended whiskey, which we do get around here in a limited availability, but it does show up from time to time. Nice aroma. Let's go with the taste. Whiskey barrel, chocolate, coffee, dark roasted malt. And there's really an emphasis on chocolate here. No, they don't use chocolate. But you have the combination of the oats, the wheat, the barley, the, um, what else did they say? Oh, rye. I thought it was rye. I wanted to make sure. Rye giving it the spiciness. Oats giving it that, you want to say slimy, but you don't want to use those kind of words. That viscous feeling. The body high medium the finish is a uh, medium dry it's pretty pleasant it's actually quite pleasant I don't know what the price is I'd be afraid to ask Sure, it's pretty high. Um, how would I score it? Definite A. No doubt it's an A. I'm going to say it's such a strong quality product. You got the, the whiskey flavor is there, but it's mild. It's not overdone. Um, I can't see going lower than a 97. A 9.7 out of 10. You say that's outstanding. Uh, in my scale, it's still most excellent. 93 to 97 I call most excellent, 98, 99, and 100 I would call outstanding, and then above 100 I would call world class. World class, one of the handful of beers in the world that are better than perfect. Not many of them, West Terran 12, that would be one that I've had, it was $14 a bottle, 
it should be that good if it's that price. The Nogono o Tokyo Nogono o Tokyo Black Horizon, great world class beer. The Black Albert world class, and a few others. So, but anyway, I don't have those too often. I don't run across them. But anyway, so les les bon temps relais. A most excellent product from a very interesting Missouri company. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana. 